Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sus here with a video here today bringing us a brand new video episode number two of redesigning your uh, PSD So I have two really really cool ideas this time. I'm, I'm just I just want you guys to see it the end results are I all I'm gonna say is I think you guys enjoyed this episode and also for the record there are two designs not three this episode You guys let me know whether if you want two or three per episode Realistically you want probably three but you know how many would you be able to watch fully is I'm trying to like help you guys with and just you know I don't want you to feel, feel bored so that's what I'm gonna go for so hope you guys enjoy it. talk to you guys later and of course do not forget to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel Please subscribe I think is what seven not it's I guess actually a really embarrassing number. It's like 70 70 percent of you guys are not subscribed so just like do the thing where you click the button. Yeah, I'm gonna say that one time, one time only. So uh, yeah, love you guys, enjoy. All right guys, so let's get this going right here, right now. So I think the first actual sort of header here I have is an Arrival 7 sort of Twitter header dimension size I got going on here. Designed by Dave T, I believe it is. Either way, I'm gonna put their tag on the bottom right as always. So first things first, I see the I love you episode. I love you too. So. First thing is first, I would say the right hand side is so heavy, I feel like the left hand side doesn't really hold the same value of the environment that's going on the right hand side. So that's gonna be my entire objective. And of course I think the color correction is a little bit harsh. So I'm gonna try to tie that down and kind of re like reel it back in. And I think we're gonna come up with a really cool concept. So first things first, I'm gonna actually get rid of these uh, color correction here, the high pass, and this is the final. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of all this, yep. I'm just pressing control to kind of click around and kind of find some stuff. So I'm going to start, start locking some stuff. But the first thing I want to definitely do is get rid of all this kind of noise stuff on these things here, right? Get rid of that. Even the motion blur, get rid of all of that kind of stuff here because I'm not going to use it. All right, so I got rid of most of this stuff on the actual floating shapes themselves, but I also realized some of these shapes actually have drop shadows on them. But if I look actually on the actual layers themselves, there are no effects on them. So. That's like the biggest red flag if I ever have to receive a PSD from someone else is the fact that you guys rasterize your layers before like, there's no reason to. I think if you have like effects on them, whether it's drop shadows, inner shadows, strokes, and like that, the last thing you want to end up doing is rasterizing a layer where you basically don't have the effects anymore and you have to restart. That's one of the biggest problems I think with people when it comes to like effects. So try not to do that. But I think besides just doing that, I'm actually going to end up taking some of this background element stuff and getting rid of pretty much all of it to kind of eye distracting where you don't really have a focus anymore. It just feels like this is just there, right? We're just going to kind of fix, uh, fix it up a little bit. So I'm actually going to end up taking this white plexus over here as well, getting rid of that, making this one over here a little bit bigger. And so I'm gonna make it bigger, I'm gonna make the drop shadow, not excuse me, not drop shadow, but I'm actually gonna blur it a little bit more. That way it kind of the pixels don't really feel like they were stretched and made like low quality, but kind of feel like this was intended to be blurred. So that's why I'm gonna refix it again. Um, the main thing I definitely wanna do is take some of these triangles and then actually spread them across the canvas. So I'm gonna take some of these triangles here, move this one like over here. We can leave that one, that's a pretty good spot. I think this one right here can go down here. So as you can see, I think you should like, feel like you should immediately notice that the, the environment itself kind of feels more like, hey, this is an entire idea that's kind of finishing across the entire banner here. Even this over here I feel like can even go in my opinion right so I'm gonna say I think that is pretty solid I'm also noticing I just grabbed like a red I just grabbed like a red glow okay that's your glow okay watch this I'm gonna make a new layer right I'm actually do the same exact thing as the idea he had but I'm actually gonna make it a little more prominent and give the actual banner some real nice color and give that glow something like that almost right I think that's pretty good. So I'm actually gonna get rid of all this kind of stuff on this text effect right here. And I think what I'm gonna end up doing here is I'm just gonna double click over here. And one of the cool things, I think the bevel and emboss is pretty solid in that aspect, but again, you still have this kind of like area where you rasterize your layers again. So I'm gonna go to the inner shadow here, kind of say, yo, we're gonna take this, put it on normal, put it on white. Right, and this will basically act as a cool sort of like bezel. It makes it almost look more 3D in my opinion. Then I can even use an angle gradient to kind of, not radial, angle. And just kind of see if I can get like a nice more of a sheen kind of aspect there. Then it looks pretty good. So I think right here is where I'd probably say like, I like that one. So I'm gonna take this, we're gonna press right click, copy and copy over this one over here. And I'm okay with that. So I think the next thing here is taking this backdrop here and taking this and making sure it kind of, it just for some reason it kind of just, Moved, so I'm gonna take it and make sure it kind of is more cohesive with the actual, uh, how do you say, the text in front of it itself. I think that's pretty good right there. So I'm gonna actually take this and also change the color of it as well. Give it a nice more pigment, I think. I think that's pretty good. Drop shadow's a little aggressive. We'll take it down just a tone. And then I think I'll just take these, move these for it kind of like fits more. It feels, it might be centered, but I'm gonna center it like visually, not just center it, center it if it is centered 
Like actually, that looks pretty good now. So I'm gonna go ahead and now do a little something, something, move this down over here, I think. I'm gonna actually add a new layer. We're gonna take a new layer and I'm gonna go ahead and just press a nice little soft brush. Right, we'll take a nice one of this red over here and I'm gonna click once here, right? And then once here, and then just go, just do a nice little sort of linear dodge add. If you kind of see it looking a little bit dull in some aspects, press control U. And what I'll do is I'll take the lightness, put it up, the saturation, put it up, right? And I can just kind of flirt with this a little bit and move the actual hue and saturation on the top bar and see if I get a color that I actually like a lot more. And overall, I feel like you'll find somewhere where you can kind of be like, this is good. Okay, I feel pretty good about that right there, I think. That's where we're gonna end it off right there for that kind of portion there. So what I'm actually gonna do now is kind of finalize this a couple color corrections. So I'm gonna use some color balance. I'm not, I didn't change any of the colors in this entire banner, but color balance is pretty freaking cool. If I wanna add a little bit of color into it, I can just do it by taking some of this, moving it like so. Yup, that looks pretty freaking dope. Okay, I'll take that, right? And I'm also gonna go ahead and say, yo, Control, Alt, Shift, and E to basically merge all my layers into one single layer use a nice smart object. Then I'm gonna just bring this into camera roll filter, give a nice little color correction as well. So I actually think for this, I'm gonna use some contrast in here. We'll take the highlights, put them up, cause obviously I'm gonna bring that out a lot more, the actual text itself. Then we'll take the saturation, maybe bring it up a little bit. Vibrance up just a tiny bit there, I think. Some clarity as well. We can even put some texture if we wish to as well, since you have that really nice texture in the background. You can see what it's kind of doing here is bringing it out a lot more. Makes it look pretty freaking crisp in my opinion. I'll take some detail, put the saturation, excuse me, sharpening up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's pretty good there. I'm gonna press okay. So, boom. Okay, let's actually finalize it with one more thing. Control or Shift E once again. This I'm gonna go to filter, filter gallery. I haven't really used this too much in my videos, but filter gallery, the little iris blur is basically like a nice little circle blur, which happens here is I'm gonna take this, rotate it, make it a little bit stretchy. So I'm gonna hold Alt, take this point here, make it bigger there. We're gonna take this, hold Alt, make it bigger here. Right, and I think what I'll do is I'll take the actual, this is the basically the blur amount. You can see what's happening here. It looks pretty freaking cool. If you ever have an idea for it, try it out. It's a really fun effect to kind of work with. Um, Cause then you can just use this right here, then use some more clarity. It makes it look more metal-ish. It's actually pretty cool. So taking this, and it's pretty good. You can just use it up here as well, but press okay. And then pretty much low key, I think I'm done. Pretty much I think this is like, that's, this is pretty good. I'm a fan of this. Like there's a little minor things I would love to do, of course, but again, I can't really get into it. So I don't really want to change too much of the PSD. I only want to work with what's given to me and then add a little bit and not really add too many stocks either. But the idea was still there for me. I ended up taking some of these little sort of like shapes, right? And kind of move them around a little bit more. This is where we were at before. Whole crap the difference is kind of massive but the idea is still there i took exactly what pretty much pretty much still wanted to do but just made it you know a little more sort of like i said the environment itself is really taking control allowing it to be itself of course i'll put the actual before and after up for you guys right now but i think this is pretty sick so let's just go ahead and say let's move on to the next one but i think overall we did a pretty killer job of messing with the actual kind of like i said before the environment making sure it looks pretty good and uh, yeah i'm a fan all right, guys, so this next one here is gonna be by Next Chaos, I believe his name is. I'll put his tag, of course, in the bottom right. So this is gonna be the last one. The thing I'm gonna be looking at here is just like, I'm not the best at manipulation, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So, yep, that's, what, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to elevate it. Hopefully I do. I'm a little nervous about it, but let's just see, okay? So I do know first things first is that this image here, this is definitely gonna go, so is all this glow. I don't know, but all the glow and I think the render itself is gonna pretty much go. I'm gonna delete that as well. I do have the same exact render that he used. The background seems to be two images kind of like flipped, right? Is that the play here? Okay, I like that idea to kind of fill the, uh, the actual canvas. He has more of like an orange glow going on. Like he has all of this, all of this. I'm gonna be honest. I do really like the idea of this kind of like blue hue-ish hit that he hit with the, with the nice hard light. I think since he went ahead and kind of put these like blue sort of light hits on the actual, uh, this kind of moonlight here, I'm gonna see if I can try to elevate that by kind of just making the actual scene itself more like a moonlight. So I'm pretty much gonna delete all of this stuff here and only keep the actual sort of glow in the, in the, in the moon. So after that, I'm gonna put a color correction or a curve on this entire piece. I'm gonna put curve. Then if you click on this little sort of like half circle button here, I'm gonna hold alt, click on auto. Then I'm gonna change it to find lights and dark colors, take the shadows, choose a shadow color that's in the actual design itself. And then I'll choose a highlight color right around here. 
And then I'm gonna try to like, mm, let's make the shadow color a little darker probably. Okay, I think somewhere around here is pretty good. I'm gonna say no. And then afterwards I'm gonna kind of like just give a nice little S curve and get that kind of moonlight setting. And I think it looks pretty cool. And I'm gonna use a nice brush here. And you can see obviously these orange lights. I'm gonna let this orange light cast a shadow as if obviously the, the orange light is not really getting affected or like it's not gonna like cover it with blue. So if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna highlight all these areas here, but then like really simply take the flow and it's kind of like let it just almost like feel like it's just hitting this other spot. Also, what is, why is that there? I gotta fix something around that. Whatever that is, I'm gonna have to fix, but let's try to do that right now because I don't know what that is. I think I'm gonna just warp it away like that and just like call it a day, but I'm gonna go back in here and obviously try to fix these little areas here all these kind of like situations here. I'm gonna try to make sure I kind of keep that lighting effect and have it only feel like it's affecting where it should only be affecting because I, you know, adding to the realism might make it look cool. The, the obvious illustration that we're already working with is already pretty cool, so I'm gonna worry about it too much, but I think as well, you might as well just hit this spot right here as well. Let's try to hit the eyes. Okay, that looks pretty, pretty good right there. So what I also wanna try to do here is I wanna take a highlight. Let's take a, a hue situation. Let's take this highlight, put it up quite a lot. And then I'm gonna go back into this brush and with a nice black brush or a white brush, excuse me, I can go in here and kind of give this little sort of area a little highlight and I'll change this color to a nice colorize, right? We'll put that up. Let's go ahead and see if we can make it even look more realistic. Okay, that took way longer than I thought, but I think I, 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 I don't know. I'll turn it on and off for you guys to see like kind of the little things I've pretty much hit. Um, you know, just like little simple little lighting effects kind of help it, I guess. The idea that I originally wanted to kind of, you know, create for this. So I do think immediately what I want to do as well is this barbed wire right here is kind of like so far off. I think right around there is pretty good. All right, so I guess I'm going to tackle this person over here and do the same exact thing with the curves on this one. Okay, what I might do as well is I'm gonna take this sort of, where is this? Same hue illustration on this. Try to take this, right? And I'm gonna go over here and like maybe just give her a little bit of highlights on her fingers. So I do think immediately what I should do as well is take these sort of kind of like these pumpkins and all this light and give it more light, extra light to kind of be able to play with and bounce off of. So let's try to do that real quick. I think that looks so freaking dope. I'm just basically taking a nice orange color here, right? And going over these canvases here, just to kind of really allow the orange to kind of play this, this really cool role here. But just the littlest effort just makes it look quite honestly a lot better. Also, this if this light goes under this barbed wire, I can take this barbed wire, right? Take the same exact effect, right? And go a little bit of these little sort of places right here where it should hit some of this light. Okay, I think that looks pretty good right around there. So I added some, a little bit of highlight of this sort of like moonlight as well, as well as a sort of like little orange here. And I feel like it just adds just a little bit more of that realism that I don't know if he's going for exactly. I don't know if I'm going for exactly, but I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete some of this other stuff on his text here because I want to move this as well. It's kind of bobbing right now. Let's take this text effect. Let's take this and actually give it a text effect. So I'm gonna say, Something like a nice simple like bezel of some sort, right? It's, it's probably gonna work for this like an inner shadow From like underneath Right, we'll kind of keep it the orangey feel if we want to keep it that orangey feel Let's also add in some satin to make a little more spooks Let's add a nice little simple like black to white gradient inner shadow I'm gonna press okay, right? I'm gonna take this and multiple or duplicate this and put it in the same exact one and just you know I feel like this look a, le a little less more flat. We don't gotta go too crazy This is actually the font itself. So it's already super charismatic itself So I don't really have to do too much about it But make a nice little loot new layer here and we're gonna take a nice orange here Then I can just take my eraser and just kind of like say yo tone it down a little bit in some areas Right, let's actually put a pumpkin behind her as well Let's go ahead and take this pumpkin and cut it out and put it behind her. Okay, so I got a nice cut out here. I'm gonna take this and put it right behind the actual render over here. So I'm thinking we actually end up doing, I guess like some orange light on her on her arm. Like, I, I don't know how it's gonna look, but let's just try that out really quick. Um, okay, so let's do this thing because I've seen it before, right? Let's take a soft brush here, right? I'm gonna click a few times around. Right, I'm gonna say, let's put this flow to like, mm, like 85 for now. 
right? I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna click a few times just around the canvas and almost act as if they're basically in, in different ratios to it. I should do different kind of like sizes, like one here. And it's basically gonna act like a firefly, like orange fireflies. We're not gonna go with like the, the light blue fireflies or should we go with the light blue fire? I don't know. I'm gonna say the orange fire is gonna work. So I'm gonna say, if we do one sort of like glow like that here, we gotta make sure we don't miss any, but we're gonna take it and make it smaller in some of these areas. Tell me I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. So I think over here now, what I wanna do is just do very simple edits of this sort of like orange and just see if it can kind of like, we can just run with that, right? Something like this, you can kind of see how the, uh, the actual, we made it feel like there's something really there and really putting light on this surface here. Who knows, just a little, these little details, I feel like is what gonna make this thing look pretty solid, so. I don't know, I'm pretty excited how it's going. So I'm gonna say, it's a little bit too dark here. Still, I'm gonna try to see if I can like make it just a little bit of what I'm looking for here. Okay, just like that. And all I pretty much ended up doing was taking the original curve that we had before and just taking some of the areas and giving them their own sort of like little spots, like there's energy really flowing through. And I think just doing that kind of makes it feel a little more sort of inside the design. So I'm gonna say that's pretty solid right around there. I think the last thing we wanna do here is probably just add in this nice kind of color correction here. I don't know if we're gonna fix the actual tone a little bit to be a little more like orangey tint, but I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing too much of that, but definitely some contrast, bring up the highlights for the actual, all the highlights we actually end up doing. The shadows can make it a little bit more darker. The whites can bring it out just a bit, right? The blacks can kind of tone that down just a little bit. The clarity, very, very minimal, but you know, just kind of like let that slide right there. And I would say we mess around with the curves a bit as well. And I'm gonna say for now, I'm gonna press enter just like that. I'm gonna say, I wanna do definitely one more sort of like run through with these little sun that kind of like glows here and make sure they're really glowing. We're pretty, we're pretty much done. I think this is like the, the idea that I have and just like where I'm gonna go with it. And hopefully I did it just a little bit of Justin, a little bit of ideas of my ideas and gave you guys ideas for your ideas. You know, this is just like a back and forth thing. So realistically, you guys let me know in this case, I think, I think this is, I think this is dope. So let me actually go ahead and just do a quick revert before I do that, let me like control shift E this. We did like a lot, a lot. I mean, I mean, yo, I'm gonna throw up the before and after right here, right now. You can kind of see the ideas that we end up doing is we really took this kind of like idea where this moonlight that he ended up doing were being really, really bright and making the entire canvas look like this really cool moonlight setting, trying our hardest to put some highlights into it, little orange flyer fires around and try to make the actual render of this sort of character, Fortnite character here, just kind of look like it's actually inside the graphic, giving the text a little more idea and then overall just giving some love and life and just a little more attention to the lighting and detail. And I think, I think we did that. I think this was pretty freaking dope and I hope you guys do enjoy this one right here. And hopefully next, if you're watching this, you have some really cool ideas for yourselves and everyone else has a really similar banner. Take these ideas and really try it yourself. I think it's one of those really cool things you can try and do yourself. And I am just like doing, I'm just saying the same thing over and over again because I'm honestly surprised and genuinely just like, I'm proud. So let me save this before I forget. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And with that being said, guys, that's the end of the video here today. So if you guys did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on the video. And that is gonna be, this is gonna be two out of th uh, two out of two this time. Last time it was three different designs. This time it's gonna be two. You guys let me know in the comments below which ones you like more for episodes. Do you want two or do you want three? And I wanna, of course, make sure they have different diversities and different attacks of, of ideas when I actually go against these sort of like and that's the end of the video here today. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. And uh, yeah, let me know about this format in the comment section below if you want to do the see if you either want to see two per episode or three different redesigns per episode. I think it's just like realistically, I'm trying to like figure out which one is like prime time for you guys to be able to watch all of them and learn from all of them. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited. So if you guys, of course, want to submit, it is the series update channel uh, inside the discord.gg slash HQ. So if you guys go to that text channel, you want to go ahead and just upload your PSD as well as the design itself. And if I choose to do it, I'm going to be able to just, you know, you'll see it in this freaking do uh, dope series. So uh, yeah, don't forget to leave the like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And with that being said, talk to you guys later. So HQ out. Don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay a freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love and hope you guys enjoyed. Thank <laughs> you.